how to be happy. First, to be happy, like I did say in my video where I talk about wealth and how it is. Like, uh, in a simple way, it's drinking seawater to most of people. To be happy, you have to be not longing. You have to stop longing for stuff. Stop believing that you need something to be happy. You have to be satisfied with the things you have. And being humble. The key of happiness is humbleness. Being happy with the small stuff. Being happy for a meal. Being happy for having a good friend if you have that. I'll listen to you. I is there for you when you need to. The key to happiness is to realize that you are just here on the planet. That this world is not perfect. There is a lot of suffering. But that it is there. Something, I find something very hard to see sometimes. That there are also good things wrong. The reason I feel sometimes depressed, I think, is because I am very bad in focusing on the positives when there are so many more negatives in this world. The fact that so many people still are apathetic to the suffering of the animals in the animal agriculture industry the fact that so many people say, oh, I'm eat just only uh, humane meat, a better life meat. That does not make it better for the animals. It make those kind of marketing propaganda stuff are, are only to make you feel better about your bad choices. I just recently read this story about this Nazi. His name was Ernst Goebbels. He and his men were executing children one day, but he didn't like the way his guards were grabbing kids by their hair before they shot him in the back of the head and tossed him in a mass grave. He actually ordered his men to stop grabbing the kids by their hair. And I quote, Kill them in a more decent way. That story sickens me as much as the stories that meat, cheese, milk, and egg eaters love to tell. Hey, Gary, I only eat free-range freedom eggs. Hey, Gary, I only eat animals who were raised and killed humanely on a cage-free organic farm. There is no such thing as humane when it comes to meat, cheese, milk, and eggs. Humane slaughter, humane rape, humane slavery, humane holocaust do not exist. The animal is still brutally murdered, still living in poor conditions. How people in the concentration camps of, Na of Buchenwald and Auschwitz were probably uh, not jailed at all. Peace begins at the dinner table with what you put into your body on a daily basis. Good people don't talk about kindness. They practice it. They don't pray about love. They actually give it. I know you have the capability of understanding right from wrong because you all hate people who harm children. Why not despise people who harm animals? It's hypocritical. Why protect one and violate the other when neither one wants nor deserves the abuse? They just wish it would end. Stuff that make me depressed are stuff like that. The environment 
and people mind bombing cognitive dissonance. People who care about the environment but not focusing on the true problem is that of a tiny 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 bit of the whole problem. The thing that makes me depressed is people hypocrisy people's cognitive dissonance yes the way I can look to it is that the vegan movement seems to be one of the fast growers movements or social justice movements ever but still it's still just a small percent of the population it goes not far, fast enough for my liking it goes not fast enough that people's eyes are open and that there's get some bit of courage and stand up against systematic oppression what well, that is it is the way we are treating animals is bigotry the way we arbitrary follow some animals the disregard and view others like objects like burgers or shoes it is abhorrent this bigotry, this based on arbitrary criteria. Wearing skin is just as evil as wearing skin. Skin is skin. No matter how you, a black person, or a cow or a pig, or a dog. Jews were skinned for skin by. Is the cock the witch of Mukawak? But you are probably wearing something from skin you are so euphemistically refer to as leather. And you think that it makes you look tough or it makes you look beautiful? No, my friend, it makes you look like a douchebag. It looked like you look like a bully. A tromp. A scumbag. A coward. That's the sign you sent to me. And anybody with a scintilla of sound sense. A true tough man. Does not f t uh, become... Passive aggressive and start to make excuses for unnecessary cruelty. He stands up for the ones who are oppressed. He stands up for the victims instead of holding the status quo just like it be. But all but the majority of them vegans in the world are women. What will that say? Now, I say you, probably Women are in reality a lot more tough than they that do get credit for because they have more courage than the majority of the men. In the United States, for example, um, around 80% of all the things are women. In the UK, it is a little bit more equal with, I think, 65. If I remember good, but still, people stop making excuses. It is time, right now, to stop making excuses. If you are against systematic oppression, systematic oppression based on arbitrary criteria, discrimination, you should be against all forms of it. See you later. When darkness and light become one, 
The reality is splintered away. The truth become visible. I begin not. You will never be completely happy. Deep inside in your heart. Until you go vegan. Because otherwise you are somewhere in your mind knowing you are a hypocrite. And I cannot understand how you can deal with yourself knowing you are a freaking hypocrite.